strange one, a very scary one too, as the whole of Chiselton prepares itself for a spooky Halloween. Riding your broomstick tonight, eh? <laughs> oh, I can't quite figure it out yet, Edison. Something's got into the scanner lately. He was always a cocky wee bacho. But today he's got that extra wee spring in his step. It's as if something special could really have. could really have happened to him. Ah, good day, Miss Witherspoon. As fair of face and fetching as ever. And as for that likeness of Joan Collins, eh? Joan Collins? <laughs> You're not getting a penny of my money, do you hear? Money? Who needs money, frazzle face? You do. You're always after money. You're mad about it. <laughs> mad! That was in the old days, frazzle face, before I came into it. Shh! Don't tell her, Uncle. You mean, you've come into money. Good day, Miss Wallace Wooden. <laughs> I'm interested in some handmade suits. They sort of better class wear. Handmade suits? You? You can't even afford a donkey jacket. Something as befits the richest man in Chisel. Rich? You? <laughs> now then, shall we get on with the sewing? <laughs> this way, please. Just send the bill to the castle. Hey! Yes, it was a day that had the residents of Chiselton reeling. What on earth had come over the Scunner Campbell? To find out, we have to go back in time to that early Halloween morning. Ghosty on Halloween, eh? Campbell. Villa Villainous. Oi! Campbell! It's for you! It certainly looks important, Uncle. And so it is, my boy. A circular to all Campbells nationwide. That's right, Tom. But who's it from, boss? The great Roderick of Roderick. The spotted of the Isles himself. Who, boss? By the head of my clan, you flatulent face ferret.
Yes, it was a momentous mission that the great Sporan of the Isles had embarked on. Many years ago, he had run away to marry a scullery maid called Ethel. Their marriage was never recognized, and Ethel had to leave Castle Haggis in disgrace. And now, old and alone, the poor Roderick of Roderick has no heir to his fortune. No one except that child of Ethel's, an unknown son. Yes, somewhere there is a Roderick to succeed him, a Campbell who will inherit his castle in the Gorbals and all his worldly goods. Somewhere there is that son and heir to his castle and his fortune. Your mother wasn't called Ethel, Uncle! Silence, you obnoxious orifice! Can't you see this is my one big chance to inherit a fortune? Not to mention a title? I can see it now, grouse fishing at Abbey Moor, ballroom dancing at Balmoral. But there'll be hundreds of Campbells going in for it, boss. But none so clever as the Scholar Campbell. <laughs> Excuse me, Riff Raff. Oh, uh, yes, sir. If you'd like to go inside, sir. The heir apparent number 991, sir. The, uh, Roderick, uh, Stunner. Come. Roderick Glencoe, you're hearing this. No, then. Um, what can you tell me about your wonderful mother? I thought he was found on a doorstep somewhere. Shh! I never knew he had a mother. I thought the cat dragged him in. Shh! I... I mind well that soft, soft smile. A mother's smile to drive away the darkest fears of the darkest night. Sweet, gentle eyes, the colour of a bonny April sky. A brown sky? O'er the brown hills of my ain home. Her voice, the whisper of a summer breeze, through a fairy dale as a lilting lullaby softly smooth my... She couldn't sing a note. Tortured we ear. Her strong brown arms lifting me. Strong? She was about four foot six on tippy-toe and as thin as a lath. Look, mush. Is this my mammy we're talking about, or yours? Oh, yours, my dear boy. Yours, to be sure. 
Here a honey-scented waterfall, the feather touch of a raven's wing. A blonde raven sailing over the molten gold of the ripening corn. And she wasn't too bad, I suppose, the old butt. <laughs> My Ethel. Oh. This is my heir at last. Oh, no. The Scunner Campbell, it seemed, had cracked it at last. Any time we at the Chiselton Bank can be of any help to you, Mr. Campbell? Why, thank you, squeeze them. The, the matter of fact, the... possibly be free this Wednesday afternoon. Is that right, Miss Witherspoon? We could drive out into the country somewhere. <laughs> And you could call me Alexis. <laughs> the only place I'd drive you is the plastic surgeons, Miss Witherspoon. But, but you... I've joined the jet set now. No, it's page three models or, or nothing for me from now on. Good day. Supergrand. I mean, to think of somebody like that being an aristocrat and mixing with all those lovely people. People with titles and breeding and... Money! Is it absolutely certain, Supergrand? Isn't there anything we can do about it? Let's see now. Rolls-Royce now. We'll see you see if we see a castle, boss. <laughs> What's you? Special delivery. <laughs> Fizzling pharaohs. What's wrong, Uncle? Seems that the loony sporran of the Isles ain't so loony after all. To prove that you are my real heir apparent, you have to pass one night in the haunted wing of Castle Haggis. Haunted, boss! <laughs> this is it, then, boss. Haggis Castle, my ancestral home. I thought your ancestral home was the Rosen Crown, boss. Well, you must admit it's better than a barrett's house, boss. His Lordship will see you all at dinner. Please go to your specially prepared room. Up the stairs, first door on the right. <laughs> Who said that? That's what the Varma did, boss. Oh, don't be stupid, since the Varma don't talk. <laughs> I don't like it here, boss. <laughs> Roderick of Roderick likes his guests to dress for dinner. Good job I went to that tailor's, eh, lads?
How do you like the wee castle? How long have we got to stay here, boss? Just till morning, I'll be quiet. It's delightful. Ah, here comes my butler now. My butler, Mac Headless. Such a farm on the talk. Pictures that wink. And now a butler with no head. Chateau Celtic 59. An excellent choice, Mac Headless. Let's get out of here before it's too late, boss. Some old and reeky cockalicky. Delicious. And food that moves on its own, too. Night, Flora dear, I've got a headache. Why don't you try wee Jimmy Logan up the road? Has he been alive hundred two years too, Uncle? No, it just seems like it. See you, Flora. Just a bit touched. A lot of the Darristors are, you know. It's the inbreeding that does it. That and all the peasants shooting at Sandringham. A wee drop of wine, sir. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid my eyesight's no so good. Are you sure you wouldn't like to stay up and listen to my Bay City Roller records? One night, that's all you have to spend in my haunted wing, so as I can tell whether you're my heir or no. But beware of the Grey Lady. Grey Lady? Aye, one glimpse of her, and you're doomed. Baggy. I'd rather have a grizzly minge bag than this lot. Any idea what time it is, boss? Uh, at the third stroke, it will be one minute to your doom. Precisely. Confession is good for the soul, imposter. Happy Halloween, scannery wannery. Why, you pint sized perishing piranha. Oh, flattery will get you nowhere. But what about him? Black Campbell. Good party, eh? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Can I remember when I've enjoyed an evening more? <laughs> 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 Oh, excuse us. He's <laughs> scattered. He's scattered. Come on. Oh. Well, come on, you lot. Come on. Calls for a spot of super speed. Touch my toe, off we go! <laughs> Hold your horses, Sir Roderick Scanner Campbell. <laughs> What's this? Your bill from I Leg the Tailor. Pay up or I'll take you to the cleaners. But that can't be for all this. <laughs> Not now I'm not a top anymore. Ah, as if you were. But I'll get in with you carton drawers. It was the last thing I do. Woo, woo, woo! Super grand! Huh? Look! Oh, look! Happy Halloween! Nothing that she can't do. 